so the penultimate set is soons um want to learn them second to last uh because well they're easier than the anti soon and they are directly related to the anti soon there's going to be a lot of mirrors between the two um and this set at least does have a block so it does make it a little bit easy but uh with how easy soons are uh, during your learning process, they should be done last. Uh, so, uh, here we have no swap. Um, I'm not going to tell you how to recognise the soons because uh, that would be hypocritical because I really learnt a bad way of doing it back when I started in like 2011, 2012, so it's all over the place. So, I can do it now. I do rely on these four stickers but I don't do that for every case right so this one uh, no swap what how I recognize this one is I look at these two being opposite and I look at these two being opposite diag uh, these two are opposite but now these two match so that's opposite and then we have Niklas uh, so I can just recognize it from like one angle but I often do look at those two and those two um, uh, and now we've got this one, uh, which is Shih Tzu. So, these are opposite and these two match. Uh, it's not how I recognise it, I recognise it from this angle. I recognise it as these two, and these two matching. Uh, I've got this one here. Um, I don't know what one it is. Um, I guess I'll just... Yeah, whatever. This case. Um, so, I recognise it as these two matching and I guess you could just see that as opposite but I also do look at that one so kind of like the Nicholas just uh, diagram from that and then finally we got this one here which uh, from the, I have the most difficulty recognizing from here uh, so I should do still recognize from here but like shit soon uh, just look at these but they're checker instead and to the algs Starting off, we have the pure soon set. So, pure soon, no swap soon, uh, whatever you want to call it. So here we have, well, just three twisted corners. Um, so I know some people like to just solve with a soon and then cancel into e Uh I'm better than that. Not that I'm actually better, but I like algs. Um, so I've got two to show you, actually. I've got an RU alg and I've got the optimal. So the RU, which I use, is this. And the optimal uh, for this um, goes like this. The next case is pure soon plus HPM. So you've got this HPM block. Um, so I've heard this called Brune, bef uh, Brune before because it's like a Bruno soon um, sort of cancel. So you hold it from here and do this. The next case is Diag, uh, sorry not Diag, uh, Z-perm, um, so obviously it's pure soon, however you want to recognise it, um, and I hold it from here, and that's the out. Now the anti-Z-perm. A uh, case for this is just a bunch of sexy moves and inserts. So you hold it from here, back sexy, front sexy, slot the back, and slot the front. Very, very easy alg, just not the most pleasant for, for recognition. So the next one, ah, no point showing you that. Um, so for this one here, um, 
unlike the regular soon where you got opposite here and matching here um, this one here is adjacent so the setup is actually just r prime u2 r and then you do the soon including the u2 and then you want to do the setup Um, this one here where you got JSON and solved like if you're on this video I shouldn't have to tell you that this is just a back soon back anti soon even and now this case right here rather than adjacent is opposite and this one solved uh, this one I'm going to want to hold it from here so similar to the one with the setup soon you do a setup and then you do the anti soon from the Mac and that solves it so the next case is the one that has opposite on front and the JSON on the side um, so Similar to this uh, uperm plus u2, this is just that, but you start with an extra sex c. Kind of like a soon cancelled into that. Actually, because it is. And now this one here, uh, where the opposite is on the left instead, and adjacent on the front. Uh, this one is also a cancel, it's a, it's a, um, it is a soon cancelled into another uper, but a different one. So the out goes like this. It's not the best out for the uh, triple RU in it. Uh, now, this case here where these two match uh, you're going to want to hold it from this angle and now you're going to want to do the u perm plus u2 but then once you get to here you're going to want to cancel into the anti soon or just do the winter variation however you want to think about that and the last case which is I'd say quite different from the rest, where these two match instead. Uh, I hold from here and I do the following out. Diag soon. Uh, actually, surprisingly easy uh, as a set to learn. Uh, there's only like a couple cases which are a bit iffy, but overall it's a very nice set and I'll suggest learning as soon as you know the full no swap set. So ooh, uh, this case here, uh, this is obviously Diag and it's the tripod case. Uh, the ALG goes like so. The next case um, is Diag soon with HPerm. I actually don't like this ALG very much, um, but it goes like this. Not pleasant. The next one, however, is very pleasant. So this one is ZPerm. So uh, you're going to want to hold it from a uh, Y to a way. Do the first four moves of a J perm as a setup to a soon, and then you undo that setup. Uh, now we have the anti uh, Z perm, and for this one I hold it from here, and the ALG goes like this. The next case 
uh, is this one here with the salt bar here and opposite on front. And, and I like to think about it as split it into two parts. So the first part, it would be this. And then the second would be this. Now this case here where you've got the salt bar and adjacent here. Um, I think people use this as their main alg for this coal. Um, y to away. And the alg goes like so. Uh, da, da. Yeah, it's dirt. Huh. Nice. Um, so the next case here is we got the salt bar here and opposite here. Um, it's quite long, not very finger tricky, unfortunately, but uh, it's an alg. I learned it, and it goes like so. This alg here, um, where you've got the salt bar in front and adjacent on the right. This is a really nice alg. And it goes like so. The next case, um, it's not finger tricky at all, uh, unfortunately. It's uh, so recognition is just opposite on front, adjacent on side, and it goes like this. So when you do the R2 prime, you kind of want to push here and do a U2, and then you want to bring it through. The next case, um, where you've got opposite on the left and adjacent on the front, you're going to want to hold it from here and the alg starts like this. I use my thumb for a bit, so that's how it goes. The next case uh, is very similar to one of the V-perms that I've seen people use, like a one-handed V-perm. So, this is the recognition is this, and the alg goes like this. And the last one, uh, it's very similar to the case where you've got salt bar and opposite here. The difference being is you start a little differently. That's the Diag soon set. The next set to learn is the Niklas set. Uh, also very easy. So let's start with the main alg. Um, so Niklas, uh, obviously just three corners, simple alg. It's like the fourth alg I ever learned. Uh, Niklas plus H perm uh, is just as soon cancel into a G perm. So I just want to execute it like this. Like, you can do it like that and cancel, um, but purely for grip, uh, it's easier just to do the RUD, as much as I hate to admit that. The next one uh, is the Z perm, Nicholas. Um, is as soon cancelled into the RA perm. Uh, 
And for this case, the anti z perm, I'll call it, uh, it is from this angle. It is, again, like the last one, is a cancel, but it's back anti soon cancelled into RB perm. The next case, right here, where you've got solve bar and opposite, very simple alg. And the next case um, is not quite as good. So you've got solve and uh, adjacent here. So, I guess the best way to execute this is if you're quite happy to do F U two F one U two F, you'd start like that. So from start, and then you undo that. Now this next alg, uh, it's it's a strange one, but I thoroughly enjoy it. So solved, uh, opposite, and I hold from this angle. So I feel like I'm breaking everything when I'm doing it. And the first move is this. When I do the U2 and D prime, I do them separately just for, I guess, my own mental clarity. So I do that, then that. Um, but that's just what I do. And the last case with a bar is this one here. So you've got Niklas solved and adjacent. And I'm going to want to hold it from this angle. So I'm kind of feel like I'm moving everything from here. And the alg goes like this. The next elk. Um, let's do this one next, actually. Um, so you got opposite here and adjacent here. So this one um, obviously is just it's a three cycle and a three cycle, so it's just a U perm cancelled into the Niklas. So from here, you start with the U perm, then once you get to here, you cancel. Um, now we got this one here. Uh, it's a bit of a odd one um, to get your head around, but it makes perfect sense once you think about it. So um, opposite in front, adjacent on the side, and you want to hold it from this angle. And these, I'd say, the setup is off of U2. Um, now this eight move, and then undo the setup. Now this case here is the inverse mirror of the ALG, where these two matching. And the easy way for me to sort of remember this one is these two are here and I'll bring them down and do the U2. And then it's like a sexy sledge but all R's are wide. And then I'll do setup. And finally, uh, this one here, where these two matching, is just a soon cancel into a T perm. So the next set of cases are these ones here, the so-called shit suits. Um, that's because for the longest time it really was. Um, it still is absolutely abysmal for two by two, but for three by three, it's not so bad. Uh, so for this case here, it's just a three cycle of corners. Uh, you could look at it as a tripod, um, but it's just a three corner cycle. So the ALG itself is a COM. I'm not quite sure how the COM works, like what's A, what's B, etc. And it goes like so. Now 
Now, there is a second algae I know, which I actually do use in blind, which is not great, but um, it's the optimal and it's done from this angle. Uh, it's, and it goes like this. So I actually do know how that one works, um, but it's, it's not the best, but optimal comms, why not? So the next case um, is with H per block. Uh, so this one's quite weird because this one and its inverse, uh, the algs the same, but it differs by one move in the middle where it's U or U prime. Uh, I'll show you the alg for this one first. And it goes like this from this, this angle. Do you? So I'll show you what I mean quickly. But I'll do the alg again, and I get the the anti soon version. So from this this angle, same alg, but instead of a U, do U prime. So that's the difference between the two. We'll come back to this one when we do the anti soons. The next case is going to be the one with the Z perm block. Uh, it's, it's long, um, and there is a mini re grip in there that I kind of learned how to do, do to make it faster at the end. Um, took me a while to actually get this one down, but now that I do, it's very much set in stone, and I really like the elk. And the elk goes like so. And then a mini regrip here for the faster ending. So the next case is the anti Z block here. Um, so it kind of starts like RA perm or like the alg that I have done no recognition for in the T set, like this. But it does finish slightly differently. Uh, the next case I'll show is this one here, where you've got solid bar on front and opposite on the left. So for this one, um, it's a good alg. I want to do it from this angle. So I like to think of it as I'm breaking this block when I'm doing it. And the alg goes like so. And the next one, uh, where you have bar in front and opposite, uh, adjacent on the left. Um, you're going to want to rotate here, and you would want to do this alg. The next case is the mirror of the inverse where you've got solve bar on the left and opposite on the front. Uh, so for this one, I'm going to want to do a right Y2. And I'm going to think about is pushing this block down to start into a three corner com. And the next one, I believe, is the standard alg for the call. Uh, you've got this block here and adjacent on front so this one you're going to want to rotate here i like to think about it as breaking the bot uh, breaking the bar and the alg goes like so the next case um you use a bit of a nonsense cloud um I learned it from a good source, so after using it, I do see why it's good. So this one here, it's opposites here and adjacent on front. And the elk's done from here, and it starts like this. The next case, 
where you have opposite on front and adjacent on the left. Uh, you're going to want to rotate the cube to here and you're going to want to do this help. I think of it as sort of bringing the opposites down as I'm doing it. The next case, uh, this one here where these two match. Um, I To do this out, you rotate to here and I think about it as sort of bringing this sort of imaginary block down to start. And then halfway through the alg, you kind of break and refix this f wall pair. So the alg goes like so. You break and then you fix and then you slot like so. And then the last, this, these 12 cases, is this one here, where you've got these two. Um, so I, th uh, again, I think of that, this is an imaginary block. Uh, I also do it from this angle, and I also think of it as a bit of a spam alg. So sort of break from here with the first move, and the alg goes like so. kind of similar to those disgusting pie cases uh, but that concludes this subset so the next set is this one here so I just recognize the corners like this and this uh, which helps me recognize this faster as well because the blocks right there um, so with this set the mirror the inverse and the mirror inverse they kind of all get mixed up so it was quite a pain to learn this and four years ago when i did learn four it was the first they were the first four to go or the first four i forgot um so i've had to spend a lot of extra time just trying to drill these in um and fortunately just changing a few algs out made it a lot more easier to remember as if you were to have a look at some resources um you do find that there are algs that are very, very similar um, for a lot of these cases. So I try to I try to avoid that when I learn these. Uh, so starting off with this one here, so the tripod case, um, the alg goes like so: y two, sexy, bring it down, The next one, the one with the H-Pan block, I, this is people's main call for this. Uh, it's a very easy alg. Uh, again, you start from a Y to a Y, and the alg goes like so. So the alg that I used as my call when I was doing this, when I was learning call many years ago is this one here. Uh, reason being is because it was similar to 2x2. Two two. Um, so for this one I do this. The next case, um, this one here, the anti-z block. Um, it's a uh, it's a combo, uh, is it, could I call it a combo alg? Yeah, it's just two algs, it's just um, a corner cycle cancelled into a soon. And it goes like this. The uh, next case, this one here, so solid by in front, opposite on left. Um, Go kind of goes like this. It's quite spammy on the left moves, that one. So the next one will be this one here. And it's very similar to the same block. Uh, from the Diag set, the only difference is the second U2 you don't do, and you insert the edge corner differently. It goes like this. So, 
So the next case will be this one here, um, where you've got salt on the left and opposite on the front. It's very similar to H. Um, the only difference is uh, there's an R and an R prime, which is made wide. So you do it from this angle. So you start the out the same, but then when you get to here, it's wide R's. And this next case here, there are two ALKs for, and I'd say learn either, but personally I would say learn both, uh, because I think they're both very good. One's short and sort of links up to the other sets, and the other one is just plain fast. Um, so the first one is just as soon cancelled into an inverse J-perm. And the other ALK is just shorter, um, nice, very nice. Oh, wrong way. So the next case, this one here, where you got opposite on left and adjacent on front. I um, don't have any good way to remember this case other than sort of how the ALK starts with like a sexy in it. So you start from this angle and the ALK goes like so. Uh, the next ALK. Uh, where opposite is on front. Kind of think about it close to the one of the R perm ALKs, um, just without the fancy ending. Well, I'd actually say it's the inverse of that. That's the ALK for that one. So the next case uh, that was, I couldn't find anything great for. At all, it was, it was one of the ones that had one of those very similar algs that I tried to avoid, where you end up doing some weird rud stuff, and you have to do like a U perm in the middle for the edges. I avoided that, so just for my own memory's sake, I learnt. I would say a very bad alg, but here it is. So from this angle, and it goes like this. And finally, for this set, um, so this one here, um, so these two matching, it's quite a nice ALG, um, and it goes, so start from here, and it goes like so. And the last uh, set within soon is this one here. So I kind of think of it as a diag Niklas. So it should be here and here for Niklas, but here and here. And starting with the first alg, um, which I I was actually using as my main call for this set. Um, it's a, quite a nice alg. It's got an S prime in it. So here it goes. The next case is one with H perm. And it goes like so. It's like a back anti soon cancelled into a three corner cycle. That's what that is. The next one was the first algo learnt for this set. Again, because it's similar to two by two. Um, it goes like this. Uh, 
and the anti z perm so this one here um so for this one I feel like I'm breaking something, but there's no block here, so we've got nothing to think, uh, so realistically nothing to break. So you do the alg from a y to a way, and the alg goes like so. So the next case is the exact same alg as the previous one, just with wide r's. So from this angle. This time you are actually breaking something. So that's what's here, here. The wide R. And there. Is this one right here. Uh, so you got solved on front and Jason on the left. And the L you start from this angle and it goes like so the next one is this one here where you got a uh, solved bar and opposite on front I do also recognize that you got this so it's kind of like a um, solid solid uh, these two match um but that's the only things that i noticed from before i knew the case um now i just only have a look at the block in the corners so, and the alg goes like so regrip and this case here, where you got solved on the left and adjacent on front. Um, so you're gonna want to start the album here, and then it goes like so. It's basically just like a three corners into an F to L insert. The next case. is this one here so you've got opposite on front and adjacent on left so i think of it as the inverse of rb just instead of having u2s at the end um it's just a simple insert as opposed to the u2s the next case where you have the opposite on the left instead. The alg goes like this. So I kind of think about it when I bring that pair down here, I feel like I'm hiding it away. So the next case here, where these two are matching. Um, can't tell whether I like this alg or not, the finger trick, the finger trickiness of it. Um, but I'll show you. So from this angle, goes like this. It's that bit there. I kind of have to regroup my thumb. That is the bit I'm not too sure I like or not. I don't think I should. And the last of the soon cases is this one here. So uh, for me, this one is a Nicholas cancel into a WV. And you start it from this angle. So you do Nicholas, but you cancel into that. And that concludes the soon set.